after uploading the video on uh, operational amplifier switching applications part 3 some of the related uh, gate problems are uh, taken up uh, for video solutions the problems uh, are of uh, gate 2005 2008 and 2003 the first two problems are on the Schmidt trigger and the third one is on the voltage comparators. So now we start uh, with the first problem here that is of uh, gate 2005. This problem is of two marks and it is uh, on this, based on the Schmidt trigger. Uh, we will read out the problem here. Given the ideal op amp circuit shown in the figure indicate the correct transfer characteristics assuming ideal diode with zero cut-in voltage. That means here uh, the circuit of uh, inverting Schmidt trigger is uh, given here and uh, in this circuit uh, we observe there is a diode and the resistive network is connected in the feedback path. So uh, this uh, circuit uh, gives me uh, UTP and LT, LTP points as uh, at uh, different levels. So this circuit, uh, we have to identify this uh, circuit uh, will correspond to uh, which one of the transfer characteristics, characteristics being given here in the problem. So uh, what we have to do is uh, we first see uh, the circuit which is of inverting Schmidt trigger since the input is applied to the inverting input and uh, DC supply to operation amplifier is uh, plus uh, 10 volts plus minus 10 volts plus 10 and minus 10 volts uh, since the DC supply is uh, plus and minus 10 volts the output uh, should also be uh, plus 10 volts plus minus 10 volts since it is equals to V saturation value which is uh, plus minus the supply voltage. Option C uh, which is having a plus 5 plus minus 5 volts as output is ruled out here. So this is not a could not be a choice here. So now we try to find the UTP and LTP points uh, as uh, asked in the problem. Uh, this UTP point is beta that is a feedback fraction into V saturation value. Now uh, Vsat uh, value saturation value is 10 volts and when the V saturation value is 10 volts the diode uh, D2 is uh, conducting and uh, diode D1 is off. D1 is off so only and this is the feedback path available and uh, if we try to find the feedback fraction here uh, for this uh, circuit, uh, the beta would be 2K, 2K, the potential across 2K divided by 2K plus 0.5K. This gives me 2 into 2 by 5 is equal to 4 by 5. So you can find the UTP that is 4 by 5 into 10. It comes to plus 8 volts. Now the LTP point is uh, minus beta into V saturation and uh, output here is minus 10 volts so D1 will be conducting D1 will be conducting 92 would be off so this path would be applicable now so we can find the beta the feedback fraction that 2k divided by 2k plus 2k that is half so LTP will come to be minus beta into V sat so this is minus half into 10 that is minus 5 volts so the UTP point is plus 8 volts and LTP point is uh, minus 5 volts so option B here the option B here this is plus 8 and this is minus 5 is the correct choice here for this problem. 